All right, so I'm making this video. Um, I used to have three of these Ego 56 volt batteries. They come in this orientation here. And then these are the leads. There's uh, two leads, one for each uh, part of the battery. And the way that they were set up, which connects into this BMS, uh, they don't usually come like this. They usually come potted like this to prevent moisture and anything getting inside the battery. Um, but I had three of these berries, uh, batteries running in series. Um, I mean in parallel, which is there each one was connected if negative to negative positive to positive all the positives on one side all the negatives on one side the problem with that is um, as it starts to pull current it starts to deplete each of these battery banks now here as it starts to deplete each of these battery banks these are all together so this is a three parallel this is the same thing there's three ego batteries all in this one package. Um, and you can tell by that because each one of these, see positive, 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 negative, 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 positive, uh, positive, 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 negative, negative, negative. They're all set up in the same orientation. As you cross the negative and the positive on one side, uh, you, be, you turn it into a series. So each one of these cells maximum goes up to 4.2, but um, let's say 4.0 just to keep it simple. So 4.0 plus 4.0 is 8 volts. So 8 volts over here. When it connects on the other side, it adds another uh, 4 volts over here. So in total, this is a, at maximum, it's a 58 volt battery. So this is a 14 series three parallel so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so there's fourteen rows of batteries and then three parallels so if you can imagine each one just this bottom row right here back and front connected is what you get over here the problem with that is I was starting to get dead cells every once in a while and even then it would run but you could tell <clears throat> sorry you could tell that it wasn't at a hundred percent so I cannibalized the battery pretty much I took all three batteries apart these batteries are not cheap each one of these batteries brand new in the store they run over a hundred a hundred sixty bucks uh, just for the simple ones now what I did here I put three 2.5 amp hour batteries together so You got seven, seven and a half amp hours. Ego seven and a half amp hour battery runs about 400 bucks. I think it's like $344. Um, the setup how I had it, I ran it for about a year like that. It was an electric dirt bike. And the controller is, um, is a 36 volt, 30 amp controller. Whereas here I'm pushing 56 volts uh, up to 58 volts when it's fully charged. And each one of these cells is capable of 20 amps each. So 2, 4, 6, I have a total of 60 amp, uh, which is what it could pull. So pulling only 35 amps from the controller... I have, you know, three times or two times as much. So it's a much safer battery right here. As I have them in parallel here, now since I have all three batteries drawing current connected, it's much more efficient, it's safer, and it's all using one BMS or battery management system. Oh, the fucking light. So... The difficult part in this is figuring out 
the balance leads how they go because the way that these batteries are set up is two separate batteries. So I ended up doing a little diagram over here. And in this diagram, I flip the batteries. They come like this. And I flip them upside down. And all the series, uh, all the battery management connections are all on the bottom of the batteries. So I went ahead and I did a little diagram here. It might help you guys if you guys uh, uh, dare to do the same thing. Um, starting from the negative side, which is how I oriented this so I would get the same setup. Starting on the negative side, which connects into into the negative and the positive, this is where the battery slides in onto the charger. So these are the leads that I have connected to my XT60s connectors to be able to charge it. Add another port here, and this is how I charge my my batteries right onto the dirt bike. I don't have to be taking off and on the batteries. Uh, the problem with this was as I had three of these batteries all connected by negative and positives, only one of the batteries would be connected to the charger. So the charger is sensing each one of these battery banks and it's only really balancing the main battery that's connected through here. It's not really balancing all three batteries. Um, I tried connecting all three batteries through the BMS as well, but this charger is for one battery at a time. So that's where the problems I started running into. Um, as I started to discharge and charge the battery, so using the dirt bike when it was dead, putting it to charge, my kids, you know, I ride around with my kids around the block. And... As they started doing that, I started killing some of the cells. So one battery wouldn't charge fully to 58 volts. It'd be 57. They would equalize each other through the, you know, if if you connect all three batteries through the negative and the positive and just leave it there without a charger, they balance each other out. So it would run. But when I would disconnect it, if I wanted to use one battery by itself, the charger wouldn't recognize, which is why this this BMS is potted like this because it kept it kept flashing and it was in like in a maintenance mode I guess it fried out one of the resistors or something and it wasn't charging or even recognizing the battery so it wouldn't charge the batteries anymore so I started having problems on and off and it got to the point where I've gone through I've had a total of six of these batteries and I burnt out two of them uh, so I went ahead and took out all the cells I cycled them, discharged them, charged them, see which ones had full capacities. Based on that, I was able to put this battery back together using their cells. Their cells are amazing. These are 18650 cells. This is what's in this is what powers our modern world as we know it. This is our this these batteries are in our modems, they're in our laptops, they're in our power tools. Um, for all you guys out there, uh, in the recent uh, power tool mania, mania pretty much uh, these batteries are what it inside the battery packs these particular cells from Eagle they have a wrapping around them which displaces heat so as these batteries get hot instead of transferring it throughout the cell this material it has inside displaces the the heat energy. So these batteries are supposed to last really long. So the easy part is taking apart the battery, taking all these cells apart, charging, discharging, see where it's at. The hard part for me was at least was figuring out each one of these leads on where they go. So how I did it was I started with my negative because this pretty much goes in order. So I started with the negative, that's what you see over here. The lead that comes after the negative in the first series connection was black. So I just started going in order. And then it's kind of tricky because this has a series connection, whereas the two batteries are joined together by a series connection, by a negative and a positive. That counts as a series connection, which has a lead on it. So the way I did it was... 
see it has two different plugs on them uh, as you can tell the cables are doubled in this particular model of the battery it has different plugs this one as you can see is all white so this one's actually separate one lead from the other so how I did it was I followed the black and then on the adjacent side of the black starts the blue one so as you can tell here's the black it's black white yellow and then on the other side it starts blue so black white yellow and then it starts blue on the other side then green and red so here we have the green and then we have the red and then starting on the other series connection following that one would be the the green one so on this side we have the green blue and white this way the the BMS is reading instead of having three batteries it's reading one battery one big battery so I turn this from three separate 2.5 amp hour batteries to one 7.5 amp hour battery um, the problems that I was having was dead cells it would have dead cells the battery would get hot every once in a while and they wouldn't charge anymore so I was having problems just getting them to charge anymore so I had to buy another battery and then leave the two dead BMS's on the on the batteries that were only connected through the negative and the positive and then only charge one so it was only balancing one of the batteries, which is the problems that I was having. So this way, the three batteries are being balanced all together. So it will drain all together. If one battery is pulling too much, it will switch to the other one. Also, we have a triple uh, redundancy because we have them in parallel. So we have three batteries here. If one of these batteries starts to fail, I have these two other batteries to make up for the, for the, the power current running through. And that's what the BMS does, the battery management system. It, as these two cells should start depleting together evenly, if one is a little uneven, it'll slow down the other one just so that it always keeps everything always running at the same balance. And most importantly, it's reading, no flashing lights. And if I get this connector... Give me one second over here. When I connect it to the battery, it starts reading it. But it's at full charge, so it's not going to charge or anything. But it was flashing. If you have problems, it'll go straight to the red one, or you'll hear the fan come on and it won't charge at all. But in this case, it's reading the battery. I have confirmed all the cells are all at the same, the same level. Uh, how I did that is before I went ahead and put this together as you see here I welded all these tabs on all of them first instead of oriented like this I just welded each parallel group so all the, all the positives and all the negatives each one there were individual cells so you'd have three batteries like this so what you see here is one two three of them so it'd be three of them all welded through the positive all welded through the negative so it was like a three battery pack and then like that I connected all of the positives together in the front and all of the negatives together in the back and the battery self equalized so each cell was reading exactly the same amount it's better than having to go back and forth and discharging and charging them on the on your hobby charger or your wall charger or whatever um, and then from that connection, it goes into this, which is what originally charges on the charger. But here's the diagram for whoever's uh, brave enough to take apart their batteries and orient them all like this. So you can use in uh, electric bikes or dirt bikes or whatever you need huge battery packs for. Good luck out there and try not to blow anything up. <laughs>